Welcome to Knot Wars, where we pit fishing's best knots in the head-to-head -head competition to determine which knots you can count on. Each week we tie and test two of the world's strongest fishing knots. The loser goes home. The winner advances to the next round of competition where it faces another tough competitor. Last week, the Miller Knot, submitted by Joe Miller of Lakeview, Arkansas, beat the Eugene Bend Knot in impressive fashion. In fact, the Miller Knot's one of the strongest knots I've ever tied with monofilament, and it works very well with fluorocarbon braid as well. If you missed last week's episode, here's how you tie the Miller Knot. Start by running the tag end through the hook eye twice, and form a dime-sized loop. Fold the tag line under and around the main line twice, then run the tag end back through the loop leaving enough line to form a second loop. Now here's where it gets tricky. Insert your right index finger to the top of the loop and roll it towards you one complete turn. See all the double lines on top? Now insert that tag end through the top loop, grab it with your forefinger and thumb and pull it down. Moist it with a little saliva and draw tight. That's the Miller Knot. Now the competitor to this week is called the San Diego Jam Knot and it was sent into us by Brian Werfel, a student at USC, and Cliff Sword, a Louisiana red fisherman. Now this knot was popularized by long range tuna fishermen, so you know it's super strong. Here's how you tie it. Run the tag end through the hook eye, leaving plenty of line to tie the knot. Loop the tag end over your index finger and make seven wraps around the double line down to the eye of the hook. Feed the tag end between the double lines and then run it back through the upper loop. Moisten with a bit of saliva and tighten first by pulling on the tag end. Then slide the knot all the way down to the hook eye and finish tightening by pulling on the main line. Now that's the San Diego Jam and it has a reputation of being strong. But is it stronger than the Miller knot? Let's find out. Now we've got the trusty knot testing machine already set up. We've got the Miller knot, our reigning champ on the left. We've got the challenger, the San Diego Jam on the right. Let's see what happens. We have a winner, but boy, was it close. That's impressive, 21.7. Both of these knots work extremely well with mono, fluorocarbon, and braid. However, the Miller knot came out just a little bit ahead. That means the Miller knot moves into the next round of competition where it faces the fishing pool knot, which according to at least one online blogger, will win this entire competition. It also brings us one step closer to the ultimate showdown to see if we can find a knot that can topple the mighty Palomar winner of last year's Not Worse competition. By the way, if you'd like to practice tying the San Diego Jam, the Miller Knot, or any of the knots featured on Knot Wars, simply visit fishingclub.com. Knot Wars, because no good fish story ends in a broken knot.